The Weiss Trail extension allows you to capture places you visit on the web, so you can retravel them at your own pace. It allows you to add notes about places you visit. Once the trail is complete, you can access your trails on any machine. Trails can also be shared with your friends. Let's start with a quick tutorial on how to use our Chrome extension. The first thing you should do is create an account. Creating an account allows you to save trails. Once you've created an account, you can see up here in the toolbar we have several actions. One is to add a website, two is to delete a website, three is to save the trail, and four is to clear. For a quick example, we're going to go ahead and add the Google website to our trail. Now we're going to click on the home button of the trail. and You can see that we've captured the Google website and some notes about it. Now we're going to click back on the Google step in the trail and you can see it takes us back to the Google website. To delete the website, all you need to do is click on the X. And if you come back to the home page, you can see that it's gone. Now let's say I wanted to create a trail about my Disney vacation and I wanted to capture images and videos and places that I've discovered when searching the web. The first thing I'm going to do is change the theme of my trail to my Disney vacation and add some description about it. The next thing I'm going to do is start searching for places to stay. One thing to notice here is I can minimize and maximize the Chrome extension by just clicking on the Wise Trail tab. This allows us not to obstruct our web page. Now once I found a decent place to stay, I'm going to add it to my trail. The next thing I'm going to do is look for places to eat. Now I'm going to add a note to help organize my trail. This just basically tells me the websites following this note are the places I found to eat. Now for time's sakes, let me add a couple food websites to the trail. By hovering over the step in the trail, you can find the same information as you would find on the home page. Now I can also add videos to my trail. Let's add this video of the 10 Greatest Disney World Rides. Now if you come back to the home page, you will see the video steps show up. Now I can also import images. Here's an images of the fireworks show I saw. You could also add your own personal family images. So that's the gist of how to create a trail. Now once you have a trail created, you can color your trail by clicking the color trail icon in the menu here it'll come up with different arrows that you can use in your trail we're going to select the blue one here you can also pick a background you can also pick a color theme finally it's time to save our trail we're going to click on the save icon, we're going to give it a name, and then we're going to save it. Now the trail has been saved, and it will show up over here. And now I can quickly switch to other trails I've already created. Now the next time you want to go on your Disney vacation, you'll have a trail that you can follow to remember the websites that you used on your previous vacation. You can also share those trails with other people so they can learn from your experience. As you can see, we're coming to the end of our trail and the video. But if you have any more questions, please come out to wisetrail.com and send us some feedback.